Do you guys want to learn how to create a real estate channel that's going to provide you free leads and organic traffic for years to come? Then stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Steve with Steve Invest. If you haven't been here before, we're helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, and real estate investors grow their businesses one video at a time. Look, people want to work with people that they know or think that they know. And that's why the YouTube channel can be extremely powerful. Think about it for a second. Is there a, a famous movie star or even a famous YouTuber or influencer that you watch on a consistent basis? You, you feel like you know that person at the end of the day. And that's what we want to accomplish here. We want to accomplish people searching on YouTube, they come across your channel, you're a wealth of information pertaining to your local area, your local knowledge, they watch your videos, they get to know you, and before you know it, they're gonna start reaching out to you to either buy or sell real estate. Now before we get started, we're gonna jump on the computer, take a look at our YouTube channel. It is fresh, it's in its infancy stage, but it's already starting to go, go to work for us. All right guys, in terms of ranking for some new videos that we just put out, um, and remember, this is a brand new channel. If I go up here to the YouTube search, I'm going to type in um, Bonita Beach Club, which is a local community here. And as you can see, there's a volume of 390 searches per month. Um, this is called Keywords Everywhere. You guys can download it for free as well, so I highly recommend doing that. But anyway, the volume, again, is 390 per month. And another search term I'm going to use real quick so I can show you some additional information is Bonita Beach Parking. And now Bonita Beach Parking is 110 per month. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and set up an incognito window. The first search I'm going to do is Bonita Beach Club. Bonita Beach Club. And if we scroll down, we just posted this one day ago, so I don't don't think we're going to rank that high. Yeah, we're down here one day ago, so we're kind of in the middle on uh, on the search. Not the greatest, but that's about one day ago, only 24 views. Um, but as time progresses, I'm sure this is going to rank higher and higher. Now, uh, the next one, which we posted probably a few weeks ago, is... Bonita Beach Parking. And we came up second on the search for Bonita Beach Parking, which is pretty great. Um, that was three weeks ago, and again, that had 110 searches per month. So um, we anticipate this one probably going pretty strong with that search criteria. Now the easiest thing that you can do for your real estate business is subscribe to that channel. It's My Beach Brokers. We'll put a link down below. Hit the notification bell. We're gonna have a video coming out every single week. So whatever that video is, you can go ahead and replicate it to your local market. Granted, things might be a little bit different depending on where you're at in the country or even uh, worldwide. So you're gonna have to adapt these videos to, to your local expertise area and attractions. I know many of you are thinking, man, I just can't get creative. I don't know what to put out there. I don't have the creative mentality. Don't worry about that. We're going to go through a list of everything that you can get creative on. It's going to be an overwhelming list. I'm also going to put a link down below uh, for our site. There's a blog down there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to break down things even further for you. But grab a pen and pad and start taking some notes because this is going to be a wealth of information that you guys are going to be able to use for your real estate channel. Uh, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is uh, the market update. What's going at least once a month, you're going to post a video of what's going on in your local market. Now, this is pertaining to um, all different types of your properties, single family, uh, condo market, land, income producing, even commercial real estate. What's going on with your local market? Now, you can go to your local real estate board. Um, I know our MLS has stats that we can access to find out exactly how many properties have sold any given month, quarter, per year. So you can pull those stats. You can also do micro uh, economics as well. So pertaining to, um, you know, for our area, we're in Bonita Beach. So specifically to Bonita Springs, Bonita Beach, even 
to specific communities as well, what's going on in those local markets. Next thing is client testimonials. If you can get some brave past clients on video where you can ask them several questions, um, people want to hear the honest truth from other people exactly how your services work. Some questions are as follows. Um, how was Steve's overall performance? Um, how was his professional services? Did Steve listen to all your wants and demands? Uh, would you refer Steve to your friends and family and why? Uh, do you feel that Steve treated this process as if you were family? How do you feel about Steve's work ethic? Uh, was Steve on time and did he respect your time? What stood out about Steve? And also when they close on, if it's a buyer, when they close on the property, what about asking them if they could give a tour of their own property and why they chose that property? All right, the next thing are educational videos. I mean, you guys, this list can be forever. I'm gonna wrap through a bunch of them, um, so just bear with me, but this is kind of endless. If you've been in real estate for more than a couple weeks, you can understand you can write, you know, 20 different, you can do 20 different videos on uh, a real estate contract by itself. So um, real estate educational videos, tips on staging your home, spend $2,000 to get top dollar for your property. What is a 1031 exchange? How to buy real estate with a self-directed IRA, which is an incredible tool by the way. Um, what is escrow? What is an estoppel? What is lead-based paint, asbestos, mold, radon, stuff like that. Um, do I need to hire an attorney if I'm buying real estate or selling real estate? Uh, what are the main contingencies in a real estate contract? That's so clutch. I mean, that's a, a huge question, especially for new buyers. They don't know what's going on. They're trusting you, um, but this is a good education for them. Uh, what should I look for in a real estate inspection? What should I look for in a real estate appraisal? Um, how to negotiate the right real estate deal? Uh, how to renegotiate after the inspection has taken place. And this could be for a buyer or a seller, because you know, if you're a seller, you can at least prep the seller with uh, post inspections, because usually a buyer's gonna come back and ask for more. And then if you're a buyer, how can we be strategic about, go ahead and asking for a credit or for the seller to repair things and get a good compromise. Uh, how to real um, how to cancel a real estate contract? What is the seller's disclosure? Uh, what is net operating income, cap rate? Uh, you can go through all the financials for income property. Next thing is area attractions. I mean, there are so many. You know, I got a list right here. Um, this is primarily just area attractions for our local area. Again, we're in Southwest Florida. Um, I mean, you can see it's page after page after page. There's well over a hundred different area attractions that I have on here. Uh, I'm gonna throw a clip up right here. It's on uh, Doc's Beach House. That was a pretty cool one. Uh, it's a, a restaurant here locally that we, we go to and have dinner and lunch and so forth. Um, I'm gonna also throw another little video up here and I'll put links down below so you guys can check out the, check out the full videos. But uh, one on uh, beach parking around here, the different parking lots, which ones to kind of stay away from because they get filled up in a, in a quick period of time. Uh, especially if you're trying to search for parking in the afternoon, which here in Southwest Florida, good luck. All right, the next thing, and I think this is so underrated, and, and it, you know, anybody, any real estate agent that even starts on this is just gonna crush it. But there's some, and I guess it's gonna depend on your local market as well, but if you're in an area where you have young families coming in, you know, a couple with, you know, some young children, and they're, they're buying in our local market, or even if they're moving from county to county or, or different areas within your county, what is the most important thing that they, that's on their list? It's schools. Hands down, it's the schools. They would wanna make sure that their kids are going to the, the right schools to get the proper education and so forth. So what can you do there? You can actually put it on other people. It's as simple as interviewing uh, teachers, principals, superintendents, um, you can even interview parents. Um, that's an easy start anyway. You know, I'm sure that you know parents in the local market that their kids are going to XYZ school. Just sit down with them, ask them what they, they like about their school, what their kids like about their school. And maybe with the permission of those parents, you might even be able to get the kid in there talking about uh, what they personally like about going to school there. 
Uh, this is a given. Uh, basically, you want to post your listings. Anytime you take a listing, you want to get it up there. Um, if you look at YouTube, it's you'll see a lot of videos, but they're just pictures. Pictures scrolling in and out with some words and somebody maybe saying something. It's horrible. I mean, my attention span for that is it's terrible. So I don't want to look at that stuff, and I don't think a lot of people do. I think it's it's a it's a waste of your time to even do that. So it could be as simple as you doing a property tour, um, walking around the property, giving your own personal highlights of the property. Uh, try to make it entertaining. Show the clubhouse. Show the community pool. Maybe talk about the the area around it. But add a little bit of excitement. Just don't do the whole slideshow picture thing. Thumbs down on that. All right, this next one. This one's a really good one as well to actually email uh, in a blog format. So just sign up for MailChimp or something. And all of these you can email out to your database. Um, but at least once a week, send, send an email out with all these videos. Um, but this is one that I like a lot and usually gets us a lot of activity for, for lead generation. But we put out a hot property alert. So I, I'm always scouring the internet on, uh, or my local MLS on our app, which is Clutch. I'm glad we have an app for our MLS now. And I'm always, always as a real estate investor, I'm always looking for the next hot deal. Um, I can't buy everything, but I see potential in so many properties on a regular basis. So what I suggest you do is scour the internet, find, or scour your MLS, find you know, a foreclosure deal, find a handyman deal, find a good cash flow property or find a property that its cash flow is pretty bad but there's value add meaning the the new buyer could do a couple things to increase rent or rent out units that are not rented or whatever the case is or add potential units to increase rentability or income on the property um, but anyway just there's plenty of deals in your market um, so you can send these out obviously in a video format but also put them out in a, in the email campaign as well and you'll you'll start it's going to spark people's interest that you're bringing hot deals to them in front of them you just never know uh we just did one of them recently it was uh, a wholesale deal a wholesaler uh, brought it to my attention i sent it out to my database and um, i got one guy here locally that is interested it's a golf access lot they want like 350 for it but i mean if i can play middleman on it and get three points that's you know 10 11 thousand bucks that we can get so it's definitely worth our time doing it. And it's, you know, that was an easy email. It took me all but, you know, five minutes to put it together on MailChimp, send it out. I didn't do a video for it, I should have. Um, but, you know, I just literally put a couple pictures out there and sent it out. But it generates, the hot deals generate activity from your database. And you can even post that kind of stuff on social media as well, which we'll talk about. Uh, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, people want to work with people that they know so put an out about us page uh who you are um you know where you live your background your experience your team as well you want to talk about you know is it just you or do you actually have a team that um you know that supports you and and will support um your your clientele as well all right you know as a real estate agent you need to be out and about anyway so get out there um, and go to local events. You know, for example, we have uh, an annual event on Fort Myers Beach. It's the Sandcastle Tournament. It's, it brings people from all over the world. It's pretty crazy. And they build these incredible, incredible sandcastles. So get out to these type of events, videotape them, talk to people when you're out there. There's plenty of people that'll be happy to give some comments of their, what, you know, where they're from and why they're there and what they think about the event and um, you know, uh, do a little interview, talk about the event itself. Is it reoccurring? What your, what's your thoughts? Who's at the event? Is there food? Is there drinks? Um, but this kind of stuff, this area of knowledge is gonna help a lot of people. And again, those people are gonna return that favor. Another thing is we, we get a decent amount of referrals from outside real estate brokers um, from other states and even other countries. So we actually created a video, I'll throw it in here as well. Um, and I'll put the link down below on uh, real estate referrals. You know, we, we want to be your referral source 
for South Florida. So anybody that's looking to buy or sell and you're from another area in Florida or another state or country, and you have somebody that needs to buy or sell in South Florida, we wanna be that source for you guys. So we actually wound up putting a video together for that as well. Um, not sure where that's gonna lead. It was just something we thought of, but it's always good. And if we do get some, um, you know, other referrals from other agents, that's a video that we can actually email them to uh, email out to them as well. So we'll see how that goes, but it's worth doing. It was five minute video, it's easy. All right, now creating the YouTube channel is fairly simple. Um, a few things you want to make sure you have your channel art, which is that big banner up there. Uh, you can get on Fiverr, somebody can create that for you guys in a, in a fairly quick period of time for five, ten bucks. Um, also, all of your videos that you put up, you want to optimize. So these are, you know, I have my list here, and you know, they all the titles and everything need to be optimized to your local market. So, for example, um, you know, the weather in Bonita Springs. You know, that, that's a searchable term, but it's optimized to Bonita Springs. So you might want to do the weather in Tucson, Arizona and talk about the different months and how hot it is. By the way, I was in Arizona a few weeks ago and in July. Oh my God, it was like 110, 115 degrees. It was amazing. It was really hot. Um, but anyway, you want to optimize your channel. Um, in your description, you have your tags as well. So you want to you want to type in, you know, weather Bonita Springs and different terminology Bonita Springs real estate in those tags to optimize it. There's a ton of YouTube videos on this as well, but it's very simple to optimize. And then you're going to have your area where you can uh, type in a, a paragraph. Um, so you want to optimize keywords in there as well as you're talking about what this video pertains to. Um, you want to take this video as well and you want to embed it into your website, into your blog. Now what we normally do is what we're, at least we're starting to do is we're writing blog content and then we're creating the video. And then we take that video, embed it into the blog. So now YouTube and our, um, our website are working together, sharing this information back and forth. So it's just, it's just channeling people back and forth for us. So always take the video and throw it into the uh, appropriate blog. Um, once you put in the blog, then go ahead and, and promote that. Put it out on all your social media platforms. Over time, your videos are going to start to rank. Um, like I showed you in the beginning, I mean, in not, not a long period of time, these searchable keywords, um, our videos are starting to rank higher and higher. And I think it's just a matter of time before we start drawing in a lot of traction. You know, we're doing this once a week. So all you need to do is you know, see what videos we're doing and just replicate them. So my question for you guys is, do you currently have a real estate channel? And if you do, put it down below so you can share that on our channel with the rest of the world. If this information is helpful for you guys, Steve Invest, um, we're here to help real estate agents, real estate brokers grow their channels. So go ahead and subscribe. We have at least two videos coming out every single week. So you're gonna wanna hit the little notification bell and uh, that's gonna alert you every time a new video hits. And for all of our subscribers, we really appreciate you guys and tuning in, and thanks for all the support.